So one of the expectations is that if you're given a 3D object, such as that object that you see there, we should be able to draw the front view and the side view and the top view. So in other words, when I look at this image from the front, this is a three-dimensional image, these cubes, but when I look at it from the front, what would I see? And when I look at it from the side, what would I see? And when I look straight down from the top, what would I see? So let's take a look at this object here. Now imagine that you were looking at it straight from the front. So that would be an image like that. Well, you would see here two blocks. Two blocks is fa are facing the front. So from the front, it would look like so. Two blocks there. And then you would see these two blocks here, the yellow one and the black one. One, two, so there's two more blocks. And then finally, from the front, you would see the one brown block at the edge here. So from the front, the view of this object looks like this. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Now, what would it look like if you looked at it from the side? So if we looked at it from this side, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spin it around so that it faces the camera here. So now you're looking at the side view. So starting from the left, you can see there's only one brown block tall. So from this side, I would see one block like this. And then the next, the next column here would have a brown one and a black one that you would see. So there would be two blocks tall. So the side view would look something like this. One, two tall. There's the side view. The first column has a height of one. The second column has a height of two. So there's the image again. The 3D image like so. Front view two columns, the first column is two tall, two tall, and then finally one tall. When you look at it from the side, it's one, the first column has one, is one cube tall, the second column would be two cubes tall. Now we're going to look at it from the top, so that's looking straight down on this object, which would look like so. So the first column is two tall, you'll see a brown one, and a blue one. So from the top it would look like this. And then the next column is only one tall, but it, it comes off the blue cube there. So it would come off like this. And then you would have the brown cube rounding off your view from the top. So two tall in the first column, and then each one of the second and third only has one cube in it, but it's lined up with the blue, the blue uh, cube there on the top. So from the top view, it would look like this. So you should be able to, given any 3D object, be able to draw the front view, the side view, and the top view. Now for the side view, it doesn't matter which side you look at it. Usually we'll look at it from the right side. If you looked at it from the left side, it would look the same. It would just be a mirror image. So this would have been the view if we would have looked at it from, from the left side. We would have seen two and then one. But generally, let's do the front side. We'll do the right side and we'll do the top. Let's look at another example. So here's, here's another three-dimensional object, and let's look and see if we can do the front view, the side view, and the top view of this three-dimensional object. So the front view is always looking at it from the front, so that would look like, like this. 
So the far left column, it looks like there would, you would see two things stacked on top of each other, a brown one and an orange one. So we'll start with two from the front. Then the yellow, all you would see if you looked at it straight on from the front would be one yellow cube there in the bottom row. So we have a yellow one. And then the third column has a brown, blue, brown, so three tall. One, two, three. And then finally in the fourth column, we would just see the one brown cube there. So the front view would look like so. Two, one, three, one. Now let's move this and look at the view from the right. Okay, and when we look at this from the right, we're just going to see the one brown cube in the first column. And then in the middle, we would see the th see three cubes tall, a brown one, sorry, a black one on the bottom, a blue one, and then a brown one. You're not going to see this cube back here because it would be hidden. So there'd be three tall in the middle. One, two, three. And then finally, we would see this one orange cube. sticking up here. So that was the that was our side view, one three one. We'll put her back to the way it way it was here. So the front was two one three one. Two one three one. The side was one three one. That's what this is. Now we gotta look straight down on it from the top. So looking down on that from the top we would see brown and then orange. So one two And then the yellow and the orange would stick up. So two tall, but starting at the orange one. So like so. And then we would have this brown one here. We look straight down on it next to the yellow. And then finally on the far right, we would have a black one and a brown one. So front view, side view, top view. And so what you should do, what you should do with these is make sure that you, you take the time to build these blocks and practice drawing a front view, a side view, and a top view.